Good morning, Warriors of God. Derek Lee here. We're praying for America and time spent with the Word. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this time truly spent with the Word, who was Jesus Christ. In the beginning, he was the Word. He is the Word who became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Father God, I thank you on this morning that you have sent us your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, to lead us, to guide us, to help us, oh God. Today, I solicit every help that Holy Spirit is, is providing and offering on today. I solicit, Father God, every leading and guiding and teaching that Holy Spirit is is providing on today mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. And as I pray for America, Father, I thank you that there is power in prayer. I thank you, Father God, that we stand on the word of God. And because we're standing on the word of God, covered with the blood of Jesus and fully armed with the armor of God, no devil in hell can touch us. And God, I thank you on today that we put a thousand demons to flight out of the United States of America. Now, spirit of truth, may the truth come forth as we read the scriptures in Jesus holy name amen the book of uh, psalms 89 verse 34 and the word of the lord says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips you know men will lie to you women will lie to you children will lie to you my god Family will lie to you and friends will lie to you. But when God speaks, when God makes a promise, when God speaks his covenant, it is final. The Bible says the amen has the so be it and his promises are yes and they are amen. He says, my covenant, I will not change. My covenant, I will not break. In the name of Jesus Christ, he is a covenant keeping God and there is nobody like him. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What God has promised, he will fulfill. He says, my covenant, I will not break. I am so glad on this morning that I serve a God of covenant. I serve the God of the covenant. I serve the God who sent his son and has given us the new covenant in his blood, which is the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, because the blood of goats and sheep sheep Ayah, was not sufficient, my God, to bring us into that alignment and into that covenant. But the blood of Jesus has, and I'm grateful to God on this morning, mm, that we have the protection, the covering, the forgiving, the leading, the guiding, the shielding. Of the blood of Jesus. And we apply the blood over us today. We apply the blood over America today. And as we go forth in Jesus name. When the enemy sees the blood. The enemy has to pass over us. So Father we cover our transportations on today. With the blood of Jesus. We cover the buildings we shall enter into God. With the blood of Jesus. We cover the grounds that we shall walk on. With the blood of Jesus. We thank you God that where the blood is applied. The enemy is not walking. That there is a fountain that is filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's vein, which is God with us on today. And because God is with us, who might God can be against us? I thank you that whatsoever these hands find to do, we shall prosper in it. We cover America with the blood of Jesus. We cover the children with the blood of Jesus. We cover the schools. <laughs> With the blood of Jesus, we cover ourselves as we go forth. May the angels of the Lord encamp around us because we believe that where there is a people to pray, there is a God to answer. We are the children of the most high God. And we thank you, almighty God, that this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we thank you, Father God, that you have given your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. This shall bear us up in their hands. We will not dash our foot against a stone. And we stand on the word of God on today, for it is an honor and a privilege. We thank you that America is bouncing back. We thank you that America is in reference to God and worshiping you in spirit and in truth. We thank you, God, that America's government is being shaken up. <laughs> We thank you, God, that you are turning over America's media for your glory. We thank you, Father, that we shall see the knowledge and the glory of the Lord cover this land as the waters cover the sea. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray today. Amen.